Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. Today we're going to cook uh, one of the most uh, popular Italian dishes around the world, uh, carbonara. It is a very simple dish, but also uh, it is uh, very discussed in Italy. And there are some people that are quite uh, strict and fundamentalist about the ingredients and the procedure anyway. And uh, we try to stick more, as much as we can, towards the classic idea of uh, carbonara, which is uh, with a small amount of, of ingredients, no olive oil, no onions, and... Uh, no garlic. No garlic and no cream. <laughs> and garlic and cream are the biggest no-no arts, which you was never put before in Italian. No, it, it, in Italy people might, might faint, might, might <laughs> die if you actually mention these two ingredients anyway. But if you find a restaurant that gives you uh, put cream in your carbonara in Italy, it it's means that it is a tourist restaurant. The other thing is people think it's a traditional dish, but actually it's not, is it? No, it is not a traditional dish because there's no record of this dish before uh, the Second World War. And some food historians have to work out how they came to existence. One idea is that uh, at the end of the war, the Americans in Rome, they had bacon and uh, and eggs, uh, and the Italian worked out uh, um, something between the two things anyway, uh, which is uh, possible. But also there are records of uh, certain dishes that are not carbonara in the Neapolitan tradition. There are some uh, eggs and pasta, but it's not carbonara. But we don't know. We what do we want to do in the end? We want to cook this dish and enjoy it. The ingredients are not very many. What we need is guanciale o pancetta. Uh, if you can find the guanciale pancetta, is a perfect, acceptable uh, substitute. Guanciale is the uh, pork cheek, cured pork cheek, and the pancetta is the pork belly that is cured as well. We need uh, eggs. In this case, we cook carbonara for two, so three eggs. And we need cheese, pecorino, and or parmigiano. You can use these two cheeses in any possible combination. You can have just pecorino if it is not too strong. Parmigiano, if you don't have pecorino, we often don't have pecorino, we use parmigiano. Or we can use both, we can mix them. And we need good pasta. Now I'm using spaghetti, but it's become more and more. Uh, common to use also rigatoni or mezze maniche and uh, salt and pepper. This is what we actually need. Um, I can also add with some hot water for the pasta. <laughs> the first thing to do is the guanciale. So we don't want the rind that we can use for other dishes if we want. You might like to keep some of the pepper here. So what I do? I cut it like this, and then smaller. Okay, that's enough for us. Next thing to do is the salsa di uova, the egg sauce. So we need the eggs, and I'm going to use two egg yolks and one entire egg. I think the thing about this is, and why Italians don't actually need a cream, is because this method creates a cream without cream. Yes. And the last one, we need the food egg. So now I'm whipping the eggs. And I'm going to add pecorino. This is a medium uh, uh, mature. That's enough pecorino. And I'm going to add a bit of parmigiano as well. 
Okay, it's plenty. I like to add also some ground pepper. In our next stage, we want to mix everything together. We blend the cheese with the eggs, pepper. But it's not yet finished because when we have the pasta in, I'm going to add some pasta water with the starch. I'm going to prepare the guanciale. So I'm going to put the guanciale in this pan and on a low flame, I'm going to melt the fat inside and I want to turn it into something uh, uh, crispy on the surface. So you add no fat? No, I don't have any other new oil. No. Yes, now you can see that the fat is, is being released by the guanciale and uh, slowly we create uh, this kind of crispy surface uh, around, the, around the guanciale. About the salt of the pasta water. And now I've got to put the pasta in. So we want to cook this pasta uh, very much of them. So, and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, pasta water, which is full of starch, to the eggs and mix it. And by doing that, you also increase the temperature. Yes, so we kind of increase a little bit the temperature of the, uh, the, the egg sauce, melt a bit of the cheese, but I don't actually turn the egg into a frittata. It just I raise the temperature a little bit. I might need a pinch of salt. And the egg sauce is ready now. And now the pasta is ready, so I can turn it off and I'm going to drain it. Very low flame. I want to leave a tiny bit of water at the bottom, so I might need a tiny bit more pasta water. So you put sort of half a ladle? Yes, it's half a ladle put together here. See, and yes. it mixes all, it's hard yes. to see on the camera, but it's yes. shiny. Yes, you can see that water is here. A bit, it's it's still, but you yes. don't want very much. No, I want enough to interact with the sauce, the egg sauce. And you just want it to be shiny, the pasta? Yes. And now I'm going to put the, I'm going to turn it off. Okay. And cool down a bit otherwise it's too hot for the egg. It's perfect now. And now I'm going to put the egg sauce. And I quickly toss everything here. This is a beautiful color. You can see this beautiful cream, natural cream. Cream without cream. Yeah. yeah. And now we add the guanciale. The trick isn't is to keep your cream and not get a scrambled egg. Absolutely, <laughs> we don't want a scrambled egg with pasta. <laughs> and now we can serve. Is it enough for you, Celia? Uh, yes. Mm. Okay. Well, I can never help in after this. <laughs> And I want to add nice bits of uh, 
guanciale and I also like to add a bit of pepper and you can add extra pecorino parmigiano if you like it just put a little sprinkle here I think it's ready to eat now well today's the first day of rain for about three months i think and yeah. though we really need rain we've had a few dull days but no rain but actually we've got some gentle rain which <laughs> it's better than heavy rain <laughs> it, it, yeah because otherwise we tend to get landslips around here so it's good gentle rain and the countryside needs it anyway so it seems like a perfect day for uh carbonara well, we should also say that when we go to Rome, we always get a carbonara, so what's a ritual? We had some fantastic uh, carbonaras in Rome. Yes. Buon appetito a tutti. Passeggiate time. It's uh, a little bit early for aperitivo, but people are starting to sit down and have a aperitivo. And we'll take a walk around and dance via Fiumga. <laughs> If you enjoy our videos, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps us enormously with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much.